I want to talk in this video about what I think is probably the most annoying and cringe tierist forced meme in the entire Linux sphere, and that is system D hatred. Now, as a background, one thing about Linux is that it allows you a lot of choice when you're configuring your system. You have lots of different distributions. They have different desktop environments. They have different default settings. They have, you could start a system with, you know, a different bash RC and that might make a big difference in your user interface. You could use a, a tiling window manager as opposed to GNOME or something like that. And that can be a big difference. And one thing about Linux users is, you know, it's, it's a playful thing. People will often uh, meme each other about the software that other people choose to use. If I use a t tiling window manager, I am going to, of course, I'm going to lord over the noobs who use GNOME or something like that. And the people who use GNOME try and meme back. They're, of course, bad, but they try and meme back about, you're just making things hard for yourself and blah, blah, blah. So in Linux, there's a tendency, since there's so much choice, people stick to their choices and they'll, they'll sort of neg each other for the choices that others make. But there's one of these choices that... Um, it, I think stands out as being particularly ill-motivated and cringed here, and that is system D hatred. Uh, the, the distaste that is all over the place among people, even among people who use system D, who will talk about how bad it is. And the reason I say that is, you know, if I use a tiling window manager and I'm talking to someone who uses, you know, a big desktop environment, I can give them many reasons why uh, my alternative is better. And they can probably give me reasons, reasons that I think are just personal preferences, but, you know, reasons as for why a desktop envir environment is better than a little tiling window manager. Um, but when you prize someone about why system D is bad, you will realize that they have, a, apart from a couple slogans, oh, it's monolithic, oh, it, it's against the Unix philosophy. When you actually pry into what they mean by that, you'll see that there's nothing behind it. They don't, they don't even, oftentimes they don't even know what that means. And it's not, none of that stuff is actually true about systemd. It's just a, a forced meme that people have run with. Um, so, there, there are a couple things. Oh, now, first off, what is systemd? You might not even know if you're a novice Linux user or you've just heard it. Uh, what exactly is System D? How is it different from not using System D? Um, so I guess the sometimes people call it an init system. I think really, if you want one task that System D really does, the thing that it's sort of thing that it does, and the one thing it does, and only that, uh, that is probably starting up uh, different system services when you boot up your computer. And if a system service needs to continually run, a systemd will make sure if it crashes or something, it'll be restarted. So systemd monitors those things. And the, they could be different things. They could be, you know, everything from your network manager to your uh, cron manager uh, to your logs or something like that. Um, so systemd, a, a lot of times people say systemd is doing all this kind of stuff. It, it really often amounts to systemd is maintaining a bunch of services. And it, mind you, all of this stuff was done on systems before systemd. It was just sort of streamlined with it because beforehand you often had to have init scripts that you ordered in terms of what order they're actually going to start in. And you have to sometimes write them yourselves. And, you know, they might be shell scripts that basically manually do the same thing that system D is doing. Now, I'm not pro system D. I'm just anti anti system D that, you know, if you don't like it, the way it works, you can use an alternative to it. Um, but all of these anti system D memes, they're all, it's just like you, the, the deeper you pry someone who is against system D, the more you realize the stuff that they're complaining about, either it doesn't mean anything, or you can't actually get them like go to someone and please say, please tell me, what is the advantage of OpenRC over systemd? Please tell me what the advantage of Runit is over systemd. And they'll just sort of fall apart. There's not, I've never, they'll say the same slogans over and over again, but there's not like anything behind it. And I've been getting these comments and complaints and emails for like years, okay? So I'm just saying systemd hatred is a meme. Now, where does it come from? You might wonder, okay, well, if systemd isn't actually bad, why would people hate systemd so much? Why, they, why do they always meme it? What's so bad about it? Well. Two things, actually, uh, and that's probably, well, the first one is systemd is everywhere nowadays. So, you know, it's, uh, of course, on Ubuntu, it's on Debian, it's on Arch. And if you want to counter signal normies, all you have to do is say, I'm against systemd, because systemd is now basically the standard. Systemd might as well be a part of Linux. I'm sorry, get over it. 
Uh, but System D is all over the place. And if you want to be elite, if you want to be like smarter than everyone else, if you want to be cool, you got to be against System D. Because all, all the, you know, you got to use this distribution that no one's heard of. Now, keep in mind, I have used, you know, you can look in my video history. There was a time around two years ago when I was first getting into Linux and I was falling for these anti-System D memes where I was like, okay, maybe I'll try out one of these distributions. I mean, it's fine. Uh, not using System D is fine, but, you know, System D does have a bunch of advantages. Uh, and of course, there are other things I'm not even talking about, like System D starts uh, a lot of these services in parallel, so you usually have faster boot time and stuff like that. But, you know, there are a bunch of advantages to System D. But uh, all in all, it's not one of those things. Like, if you use a non System D distro, a lot of things are not going to work the way that you want them to work. And a lot of things are not going to. System D does a lot of the stuff that you don't even realize. Um, but it's also like there's no huge advantage, or really there is no advantage, frankly, to using these non-system D distros. Um, now, so one of so the one point, as I said, the one reason anti-system D hatred or system D hatred is a meme is because it's like super elite. Because now system D is everywhere, so now you got to be cool by being against system D. The other reason is because wow, well, why? Linart Pottering bullied me on GitHub. That's the other reason. Because, uh, you know, the guy who, uh, who, who came up with SystemD, and I guess the development crew, people always complain about how mean they are or how terse they are on GitHub or something like that. Now, this is the stupidest concern ever. Um, I, I just couldn't care less. I mean, if, if put yourself in someone like that's shoes, okay? Or, is, or Linus Torvald's shoes, for that matter. If you're someone who's written this computer program, that is basically used by everyone and has lots of importance. Guess what? You're going to get the same kind of complaints over and over again. I mean, even me, you know, someone who has scripts on my GitHub and a YouTube channel, I will get the same complaints on and on again that I've addressed a million times, that, uh, you know, the same kind of problems, the same kind of misunderstandings of how their system works. Uh, and it's very natural for someone in that position to become very terse with people. Or, you know, maybe even a little anal, you know, a little dismissive. That's that's a natural thing to happen. And a lot of people, you know, because Pottering has this, uh, this uh, reputation of being a big meanie. He's a big meanie. People will meme against System D. Oh, System D sucks. I, I, I don't have any Pottering stuff on my computer. I'm, I'm really cool. He's, he's mean to me. He's mean to me on the internet. So I'm not going to use his software. That is the stupidest thing in the world. It's seriously the stupidest thing in the world. And more than that, mind you, he also wrote uh, Pulse Audio. And there are some people who are against... Now, first off, Pulse Audio, there's, there's no such thing as running Linux without Pulse Audio. I know some people try and do it, but um, basically every important thing you have to do with audio other than just like passively consuming music with Alsa, um, you need Pulse Audio for basically everything. Pulse Audio should basically be default on uh, Linux distributions. Now, I'm not actually saying that, but, you know, comparing it to other audio systems that are used for Linux, it's just no contest. Like, if I want to do something like, um, uh, you know, let's say I want to do a stream where my input audio is, you know, my microphone and someone I'm chatting with on a mumble server and, you know, video stream from here, blah, 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 blah. Well, video doesn't matter, but, you know, a bunch of audio streams and audio transformations and stuff like that. Easy to do with Pulse Audio. In fact, usually it does it automatically. Uh, but try and do that manually yourself. Try and do it in also or, you know, without Pulse Audio. You're just going to have a bad day. So people say the same thing about Pulse Audio, mind you, because, oh, Leonard Pottering wrote it and, like, therefore it's bad, so I'm not going to use it because he's mean to me. That's basically what it amounts to, okay? And it's just totally stupid. So what I'm trying to say here is, you know, there are lots of, there are lots of things to bully people for that I approve of on Linux. If you want to bully someone for, you know, what window manager you use, that's fun. As long as you understand that it's in jest, and if you're, you're not doing it in jest, you're autistic and you need to check yourself. Um, so I am pro ne negging people for, you know, using other software and stuff like that. But there comes a point where the justification for using something is so flimsy. And mind you, all these people who are anti-System D, it's not like they have some deep knowledge about the system. It's really just, you know, histor they, they don't like it for these superficial reasons. Or maybe they're an old boomer who just, you know, it's a new thing, new thing for them. I mean, it's been around forever for people my age. But, you know, some people just are like, oh, it's, it's new, so I don't want to do it. But uh, honestly, I think that's less of a concern, especially with you know, people nowadays, it's usually, it usually amounts to pottering wrote it, or uh, I just want to be cool and elite. And everything that falls from that, all that's, oh, it could be an NSA honeypot or something like that. All of that stuff is just memes. 
So anyway, I, I just want to put this out because I do not condone System D hate. Again, this is not a pro System D video. I do not even support System D. I'm not pro it. Um, although if the NSA wants to send me money, they can feel free to send me money. But um, uh, I, I'm not like pro system. I don't like have strong feelings for it. I just think it's incredibly cringe because basically everyone who is against it just has no reason to be against it and can't like pry them about it. Now, if you have some knockdown reason for why you shouldn't use this system D, please put it in the comments. But, but I'll just say I've been using Linux for like three years as a power user and I have never been shown one reason not to use system D or why it might even be less convenient than any other init system. It wins on everything. Okay, um, so that's about it. So stop. Yeah, you you know what I'm gonna say in the video. See you guys next time.